Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 29 of the Adobe Illustrator tutorial series. So today we're going to look at how to save um, our Illustrator images in different formats and how to use artboards to cut off edges uh, from our designs. So usually um, from the artboard I'm just going to take the symbol library over here. Let's just expand the symbol library and let me just go over to let's say like nature. All right so I got my nature um, uh, nature uh, graphics over here. Let me just expand the size of the graphics just like this. All right, there you go. So what I usually do is I also create different artboards over here. So let me just drag that in over here. Uh, let me just resize that as well. Okay, so just resizing this and uh, another artboard again, just drag that out, drag another artboard over there, drag another graphics over there. Let me just increase its size. There you go. So usually when I want to export, uh, what I do is I go to file and if you want to save a, a copy of an editable file format, then this, uh, then you just go to save as and then you save it as Illustrator. So you can simply go over here, I'll give it a file name like test and then choose the file format that you want to save in, for example, Adobe Illustrator. We'll come back to this in a later uh, moment. So you can save it as Adobe Illustrator, you can save it as Adobe PDF, all of them are editable. You can save it as EPS format, EIT, SVZ as well. SVZ is more universal. SVZZ is the compressed version of SVZ. This as SVZ is universally accepted, so maybe like you don't want to edit your graphics further in Illustrator, but you want to take it into another software such as um, let's say for example Inkscape, then SBZ is the more universal file format that is accepted in other softwares. So for now I'm going to just save it in Adobe Illustrator and let me just choose save. And once I do that you can see that uh, it actually allows me to choose the version of the Illustrator to be saved in. For example right now I'm using Illustrator CC but if I want the file to be supported in other versions of Illustrator uh, like CS6 or even CS3 um, or even older versions, versions like 10, then I can actually um, uh, check that in and it will convert the Illustrator file uh, so that it, it can be opened up in an older version of the uh, Illustrator. So you can also like choose different options over here. You can also save each artboard as a separate file if you want to. And if you just uncheck this, then it'll save all the artboards in the same file. So once I press OK, then what happens is that it actually uh, saves an Illustrator file out of it. But usually when I have to share this in, um, uh, share this to my friends or social media, then what happens is that I want to save a JPEG or a similar file format. So if I go to save as, then I actually save just an editable file. Uh, if I want to save a shareable file, I go to export option right here. So when I go to export, you can see that I can export this in AutoCAD drawing format, uh, even AutoCAD interchange format. It can be opened up with AutoCAD softwares. It can be saved as BMP, the traditional Windows format, even CSS. So uh, this will be saved as a CSS HTML, a CSS3 file format, and it can be opened up online and can be embedded in websites if you use this format. Uh, so you can use uh, EMF, not a very common format. You can export this in Flash as well, so you can import it in web. JPEG is the most common uh, image format that you can use. This is the, we have other formats as well, even. Photoshop, PNZ for transparent files, Targa for print, uh, even text format, it'll just save the text actually. If you do this, not the graphics, tip for print and Windows Meta file. So these are the options available over there. So the most common option that we have is JPEG and while choosing JPEG, let me just export this. Um, it'll actually uh, ask me whether I want to save it in CMYK or RGB. So if I'm sending it for print, then I want to save CMYK. And if I want to uh, share it in screen, then I just press RGB over here. So Grayscale saves a black and white file. So let me just press RGB. And over here, you can actually set the resolution as well. So the resolution is independent. So if you say, uh, if you want to choose 300 PPI, then it'll actually uh, save 300 pixels per inch. So it'll save much more information than, um, uh, than what it'll, it'll save in a screen format. You can also like press other and let's say have a very high resolution, for example, 1000 PPI per, uh, per inch. So if you want a very high resolution file. Since this is vector image, uh, it can be exported into any resolution. So even if you design a very small graphics, it can be ex uh, 
exported with very, very high level of detail. So over here, you can see that there's different sorts of anti-aliasing options as well, even the quality, quality settings. Uh, let me just um, select all of them and just press OK. And now what happens is that it saves a JPEG version of my file and you can see that the JPEG is here. And if I were to open that out, you can see that uh, all of them are actually saved uh, in the same a JPEG file. So these are not in different artboards. That's because I didn't choose artboard uh, while I, I didn't um, ch check on artboard while exporting the file. So I can just go to file, uh, go to export and I'm going to enable use artboard and just say tests. All right. So, and I'm going to say all you can just select the range of artboards as well. So if you want to uh, just export the second and third artboard, then you can choose range. I'm just going to select all. Let's press export and do the same thing. And if you were to minimize this out, you can see that now these are exported in three different files, unlike the same um, uh, instead of one single file. So if you choose to use artboard, then it'll only export the artboard. So let's say if you were to crop out like design at the edges of the artboard. Let me just delete the other artboards out right here and then export an artboard out of it. Let's just uh, press export and I'm going to say use artboard. Uh, let's say uh, final or something and press export and press OK. And you can see that it'll actually crop off the extra bit areas from that artboard. So it'll just export the contents that are there in the artboard itself. So this is how you save files with different files and formats from Adobe Illustrator. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.